Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how the Mega Mix works. Before we begin, I would also like to thank you guys for 200 subscribers. Also, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, I made a similar video like this one, but with the Rubik's Cube instead. Without further ado, let's get started. First, let's start by talking about the structure of the Mega Minx. The Mega Minx has 12 sides and on each side it has 11 pieces. These pieces are the center piece, edge piece, and corner piece. Since the Mega Minx is structured so differently than the normal 3x3, it can't perform some moves that the 3x3 can. For example, the Rubik's Cube can do a middle slice, while with the Mega Minx you cannot, because it is a different structure. Now, let's move on to pieces. First, we have the edge piece, which has two sides and has a small connection piece. Next, we have the corner piece. This piece has three faces and has a different type of connector piece. Finally, we have the center piece, which has no connector piece because it doesn't move at all. Now, if you take both the corner piece and edge piece, they slide perfectly together. This also works if you do it with three pieces. If you take a look inside the cube, each connector piece works together to move the pieces on the cube. Also, the connecting piece together forms a ball which allows the puzzle to rotate smoothly. Now we know how the Mega Minx works. If you guys like this video, check out the same type of video I did on the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Also, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button so that you never miss out on another video. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!